lemon cheesecake, a tangy, creamy delight that will leave you craving more. So go ahead and indulge in this decadent citrusy dessert because you deserve it. Hi everyone, welcome to today's episode of Let's Celebrate TV. I'm your host, Peter Lee. Today, our celebration is all about lemons. Well, actually it's all about cheesecake. Well, it's actually all about both. We're making a lemon cheesecake. So let's get started. Lemon cheesecake, who doesn't love cheesecake? And this is a nice, fresh, tangy, lighter cheesecake. Not quite the New York style, more of a French style, so it's fluffier and just creamy and tangy, delicious. The first thing I did was I preheated my oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit or 180 Celsius. Now we're going to start by making the crust. I have a nice bowl here full of crumbs. This is actually 36 ginger snap cookies that I ground to crumbs. How did I get here? All I did was I put them in my food processor, pulsed them, ground them up until they got to this point. Now, if you don't have a food processor, you can put your cookies in a plastic bag, bash them up with a rolling pin or a meat mallet or even a heavy saucepan until you get to where you want. Now, this doesn't have to be super fine. You can have a few little chunks and that's okay. We need to add some flavors to this. We're going to start with some sugar. I have just three tablespoons of plain granulated sugar. And now we want to add some melted butter. I have six tablespoons here of warm melted butter. Pour that in. And we're just going to mix this to combine it. All right, this is all mixed together. Now we need to put it in the pan. To make a cheesecake, we're going to use a springform pan. Here's mine. This is a springform pan and the sides come off so you can get your cheesecake out easier. We need to give this a little prep. We're going to give it a little spray with some cooking spray. That will just help it all not stick. Now our crumbs here go right into the pan. We're just going to spread it out evenly. You can use your hands if you want, and that way you can feel it. And if you can, you can push it up the sides if you choose a little bit to create a little lip. But that's really all you have to do. Now we're going to bake this. I'm going to put it in the oven for eight minutes and then take it out and let it cool. That's going to help it set up a little more, give it a little bit more caramelization and a little more flavor. So off to the oven. It's been eight minutes. I have my crust out of the oven. It's cooling back here on a wire rack. While it cools down, we're going to make the filling. I have here in my mixer bowl, two pounds or about 900 grams of full fat cream cheese. Now, if you don't have a stand mixer, you can do this in a large bowl with a hand mixer. We need to add like we always do. I have eight ounces, a cup, or about 220 grams of granulated sugar right in our bowl. We're going to now beat this until it's smooth. This should be pretty easy because I let my cream cheese sit out for a few hours so it's nice and soft. You want to do that when you're baking especially. You want all your ingredients to be at room temperature. All right, our cream cheese and sugar mixture is nice and smooth. We're going to add a little more. Starting with sour cream, this is going to add even more tang and richness. This is 8 ounces, 240 grams of sour cream. Right in our bowl. Next, we're going to add some lemon zest. It is lemon cheesecake after all. Just the zest of one lemon. Just like that, right in our bowl. Next is lemon juice. That same lemon that we zested, we're going to add the juice. This is about three tablespoons, but please use fresh, not the jar stuff. And just to boost that lemon flavor even more, 
we're going to add some lemon extract. Here it is. It's hard to see, but it's there. Just one teaspoon. It's all you need. So let's give this a mix. I'm going to scrape down my bowl. You'll probably need to scrape down a couple of times, however many times you need. All right, next up, eggs. Eggs are going to help it bind together and add even more richness. I have three large eggs here in my little pitcher. I'm going to start this mixing kind of on low. I'm going to add the eggs one at a time and let them get mixed up in between each one. All right, our batter is all ready now. So now, remember that springform pan with that crust that's been cooling? Here it is. We're just gonna pour the batter in. Let's scrape off this beater and get off as much as we can. We're just gonna pour this right into the pan. At this point, I'm going to smooth it out a little bit, spread it evenly. We're almost ready for the oven, but not quite. We're going to be baking this in a water bath, also known as a bain marie, which means Mary's bath. How do you do that? Let me show you. I have here a nice big roasting pan with a rack. We're going to put this cheesecake on the rack. And now I'm gonna add some hot water. Now, a lot of people will not use a rack and they'll wrap the bottom of their pan in foil and that way it can sit in the water. But I find that extra foil acts as a barrier to the heat and then the cheesecake doesn't cook evenly. This way, you're not submerged in the water. You don't have to wrap the bottom of the pan. But why use water anyway? This is gonna create a moist environment. It's gonna keep your cheesecake delicate and light and prevent it from cracking. I have a nice jug of hot water. I just need an inch, two and a half centimeters, thereabouts, right in the bottom of our pan. All right, that's looking pretty good. And now it's time to put this in the oven. I'm gonna bake this 350 degrees Fahrenheit, 180 Celsius for 60 to 70 minutes. Check it after 60 and it should just be set and the center should just be set. If it's really liquid, let it go to 70 minutes, but it should still be a little wobbly and that's okay. Once you reach that point, turn off the oven and crack the door and you're just gonna let this sit in the oven undisturbed as is for another hour. That is going to continue to gently cook this cheesecake, get it all cooked evenly through. So now it's off to the oven. Here we are all out of the oven, all cooled and rested. Look how beautiful that is. After we cooked it, we baked it for 60 minutes. Then we cracked the oven door, turned the oven off, let it sit there for another hour. Then I took it out of the oven and out of the water bath. I let it cool down completely, wrapped it up and popped it in the fridge for four hours. It'd be even better overnight, but I couldn't wait. And here we are, glorious. Now you notice there's no big crack on the top. Why is that? Because we cooked it in a water bath and that kept us all nice and moist. Let's give it a taste, huh? Now I've just kind of decorated this with a few little lemon slices. You can be as fancy as you like. Maybe you like whipped cream. Maybe you like powdered sugar, I don't know. I like to keep it simple. All right. Here we go. Now look at that nice brown crust, beautiful. 
Let me turn this around for you so you can see inside how luscious and light that looks. I'm stumbling over my words. I'm so excited for this. Here we go. Mmm. Mmm. Wow. That is amazing. It's lighter than what you think as a cheesecake. It's fluffier. It's creamier. And then you get that bright lemon tang. Pow! It's almost refreshing. It doesn't seem at all decadent, but it is. I think today, I need a little sip of Chardonnay to wash this all down. Okay, so if you like this episode, Hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, hit that notification bell, and you'll get a new episode every single week. Now I'm going to go put my feet up and enjoy my cheesecake. While I do that, I want you to watch some of these episodes over here. So until next time, everyone, cheers.